Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora. In today's video lecture, we will study about basic logic gates. In digital electronics, logic gates are very important and all the circuit rates, whether it is simple or complex, can be prepared with the logic gates. We have all the logics can be implemented in actual condition with logic gates. In today's video lecture, we will study only basic logic gates and that is AND OR and NOT gate that is also known as an inverter. So it is known as a AOI, A for AND gate, O for OR gate and I that is for the inverter. So we will see symbol of each logic gate. We will see boolean expression, then truth table and we will simulate that uh, how we can generate uh, a high and low condition and we have output, simulated output. So let us start with the end gate. So symbol, first we see how to draw the symbol. So here we can see that how we can draw the symbol. So I will show step by step that how to draw a symbol for the end gate. See, you can see here that how we can draw our symbol. In end gate, we have minimum two inputs. There can be a more than two inputs also. So here as shown in the figure, we have A and B. We have two input and one output. So output normally it is indicated by the Y. So this is symbol for the end gate. You can see, you can observe and you can try to draw the same symbol on your own. We have boolean expression. So normally end gate, it can be written in mathematical form with the boolean expression. So we can write y, y is output, y is equal to a dot b for end gate we use a dot operator right so a dot b so condition high condition must be fulfilled when a and b both are high condition right so now truth table let us see truth table in digital electronics as we have discussed earlier that we have only two possible conditions for input or rather for output also. So we have either zero condition and one condition. Zero condition is known as a low and one is known as a high condition. So what happens? Say we have A input, we have B input and Y that is output. So we'll see each possible condition in case of uh, various inputs. We have two input. So 2 raised to 2 that is equal to 4. So we have 4 possibilities. We will see one by one. So when we apply 0, 0, A is 0, B is 0. Meaning is A and B both are given low value, low input. So at that time, in case of end gate, we get a 0 or low output. Similar, we if we give 0 and 1 then output again it is a low that is 0 1 and 0 so again output is 0 and at last if we give 1 1 in case of A input that is also high B input that is also high so output is a high in end gate we have only one condition when we get 
our in output high that is all inputs are at a high level so let us simulate our end gate we give as per this truth table will give all the possible inputs and will check output see green that is a high signal and red that is a low signal in this condition we have given a and b both low so you can observe output right keep watching inputs and outputs we are going to simulate so this condition is a zero zero so we are getting zero output see now it is zero one a input that is at low level b input that is at the higher level so we again get output low now it is a one zero condition so again output is at a low condition and now we have one one both the inputs are at a high level and we get output high so this way we can simulate our end gate as per the truth table we have four possible different condition to implement at the input side and accordingly we can verify our output now we start with the or gate as i said earlier aoi that is known as a basic gates so after end we have another operator that is known as a or gate so again let us see the symbol how we can draw the symbol you observe again in case of or gate we have minimum two input more than two inputs are also possible so as you can observe we have a and b two inputs and we have one output and output as i said earlier it can be taken as a y so after a symbol we have boolean expression for or gate output that is y is equal to a plus b here we use a plus sign plus operator to indicate or gate and then we have a truth table again we have taken two inputs so four possible input conditions are possible so let us take one by one so a b and y that is output a and b is known as input so we have first condition that is zero zero so output is zero if both the inputs are at low condition then we have zero or low output then we have zero one so in case of or gate if any of the input goes high then we have a high output so here we can see that uh, input a is at low level but input b is at a high level so output goes at a high level same way if we apply one zero meaning this input a is at a high level and uh, b input that is at low level but output again goes high and uh, one one so both the inputs are at high level and we have high output so in or gate we can see that uh, if either of the input goes high we have high output so it is a uh, quite different to compare with the end gate in end gate we have only one possibility that if both the inputs goes high then and then only we have output high in case of or gate we have condition that if any of the input or all input goes high then we have output high so now let us simulate uh, or gate again same terminology green indicates a high level red indicates low level so first condition we have zero zero so we have 
applied a and b both the input are at zero level so output you can observe that is also at a low level now we change the condition now we have zero one so input a is at a low level and b at a high level so if any one of the input goes high output obviously will be high we have next condition that is one zero so output again goes high and if we apply one one both the input at a, at a high level then we have output high so this way we can simulate our OR gate and we can verify our truth table so our next gate that is a known as a NOT gate or it is known as a inverter gate so symbol again let us see how to draw the symbol in case of NOT gate you should be sure that uh, it has only one input and one output right that is different from the other gates in case of AND gate and OR gate we have observed that it has a minimum two input or more than two inputs are possible but in case of inverter it has only one input so input it is uh, indicated by A output that is indicated by Y so this is symbol for the NOT gate you know now how to draw the symbol for the NOT gate and now we see the boolean expression for the NOT gate so output Y is equal to A bar A bar that is inverted meaning is when we apply low signal at input at the output will be getting high signal and uh, opposite is also true when we apply high signal at the input we will get low at the output now let us see the truth table so a that is input and y that is uh, output so input is only one so 2 raised to 1 so we have only two possible condition so either if we apply input low so it is inverted right so we'll get high output and when we apply high input it is again inverted we'll get low output so this way we can draw our inverter we have boolean expression for the inverter truth table we have seen now let us simulate our not gate so again we have first condition we have applied low signal at the input side and we have high signal at the output so it is inverted and the next condition that is a high input so you can observe that when we apply high signal we are getting a low at the output so all whatever signal we give at the input side it is converted or it is inverted rather at the output side so these are the all about our logic basic logic gates thank you for watching my video keep watching my videos in each video we'll share something new about digital electronics if you like then subscribe my channel and you will get notification whenever we upload our new videos thank you thank you very much